Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see love in the general for the sign of Taurus for week ahead. So watch this video if you're a Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you're dealing with one, keep in mind these are general readings, so it may or may not resonate. If it do not resonate, do not try to deliberately fit in, check in any other placement. If you want to have a personal reading, link is in the description. If you want to follow my Instagram, the link is in the description. And if you don't already know, I'm a Taurus moon and Venus. So we make these videos very consistently on the channel. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. So let's see message for Taurus for week ahead. What do my Taurus needs to know for week ahead, please? So we have a win-win outcome is forecast full moon in Libra. Give me one more. Expect powerful changes. And then we have bottom of the deck is communication is the key. So Taurus looks like you are waiting for a communication from somebody and it is not coming in. And you are kind of in this um, wishy-washy state. Uh, you don't know whether you should like, uh, you know, what to expect or... Uh, you are not sure about this person's intentions towards you and you're kind of second guessing. So that's what I see. But uh, with the win-win uh, outcome is forecast with full moon in Libra. And you know, Libra is the sign of relationships and partnerships. So for some of you, this could be a romantic relationship. For others of you, it could be a business partnership or it could be any sort of partnership that you have been waiting to hear communication from. All right, and I see that that is coming in. And also with the expect powerful change, I see that something has been feeling very stagnant and you haven't gotten your breakthrough moment and you haven't gotten the clarity that you had been seeking for all this while. And I see that that is happening. Some of you, I also see that you are dealing with somebody who sucks with communication, you know, and and you have been very confused in this connection with this person. But here, here with the communication is the key and expect powerful change. I see that you are going to get a very clear communication regarding the situation, which is going to make it very, very clear for you. And I see that you will be at the winning end, right? So something is working in your favor, especially in regards to matters of Libra. All right. So it is romantic partnership, business partnership, your outlook in the world uh, and all of that. <laughs> all right. So let's see again. See, just when I cut the deck, we have uh, the 10 of ones with the ace of sword and uh, Ace of Swords is a card of victory and Ten of Wands is something that you had been waiting very desperately. Ten of Wands also shows to me that you have all, almost exhausted in the process and I see that finally it's like at the end of the tunnel you are seeing that victory, alright? So that's 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 good. Alright. So give me the present energy for my Libra. What is happening for my Libra in career and finance? What's the present energy? So first we'll see your career in finance again see we have the two of cups so i see that um, this is not the time to work alone this is basically the time to collaborate with people work in unions work in teams work in groups work in partnership all right that's going to be very very beneficial for you some of you i also see that if you have been looking for a job opportunity it's going to come through somebody so somebody is going to help somebody is going to collaborate with you and then this opportunity is going to come in and also with the six of sword i see that things are finally moving you know, Six of Swords is a very happy card in Swords. There are only two cards which are very good. So one is Six of Swords and the other is Four of Swords. Like Four of Swords is not really, 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 really good. But still, it's better than all the other Swords. And also the Ace of Swords is good. But Two of Swords, Three of Swords, all these cards are really bad. So it's only the Four of Swords, Six of Swords and the Ace of Swords. That's good. So I see that with the Six of Swords, I see. Again, you know, it's a card of uh, getting out of the melancholy and, you know, finding that um, stability, finding that peace again and coming out of turbulent times and you know finding that um, mental peace so that's what i see for you and with the two of cups again i see that this is a very good time to seek help work in groups work in partnership if you have been considering to work with somebody then you should definitely approach and i see that if you have been looking for an opportunity then somebody is going to come in and help also if you have been looking for a job then consider a job outside your city state or whatever because six of sword also talks about travel so i see that in your job opportunity or in your finances some sort of travel will be involved but it's all taking you to a very good level so six of sword is basically going from one level to the next right so you're definitely ascending to the next level in your career and finance so that is good any advice for my taurus for career and finance ace of cups there are new opportunities 
and i also see that some of you you need to keep your emotions in check sometimes we become emotionally very vulnerable and then we just stop seeing opportunities you know some some of you you might have been going through something tough and it's like you are losing hope if you already saw the 10 of wands so you might be losing hope you might be emotionally kind of all over the place so if you continue to stay in that kind of a place you will not be able to see this opportunity so i see that you need to like open your heart and be be reciprocate uh, be receptive to the opportunities that are coming in also bring out your creative side all right i see that some of you you have lost that sense of spark in yourself because you've been going through something tough emotionally mentally physically whatever so i see that you need to bring in that spark back so probably do something that can add joy and emotional contentment like today i was just you know watching a lot of series and uh, and this has happened to me in a very long time because i i i'm so busy in work so i'm sometimes taking classes i'm giving classes i'm doing consultations sometimes i'm uploading videos and like so much work goes on that i don't remember when was the last time when i like just sat and saw a series so today i was doing it and i was like fuck everything i'm going to watch some some series and some episodes and whatever and i continuously did that from the morning till now and it felt so good you know it was like some sort of emotional you know like fulfillment to me and i laughed and i cried in some scenes and i felt very good you know it, it felt like my heart chakra just kind of opened so some of you you need to do that you know with the ace of cups i see that you need to do something which is not in concern to your profession or it's not for making money it's not for uh, educating yourself sometimes you just need to have fun like just uh, order some pizza take a coke with you and like just fucking have fun all right so that's what i would suggest you to do and i see that when you will do it powerful changes are going to happen in your life like bloody give signal to the universe that i'm having fun in my life and and i'm open to have more fun in my life you know so that's what it is all right give me some love messages for my taurus please what is the present energy for taurus and love knight of pentacles there could be an earth energy around you i see somebody is coming you could also have the 10 of sword at the bottom of the deck so i see that some of you you felt like you were betrayed by somebody all right i feel like somebody might have backstabbed you somebody probably did something to you which felt very very hurtful but see what is coming towards you we have the knight of pentacles which is a very slow moving energy but it's a very stable energy so i see that somebody very very stable is coming towards you with a love offer however this might be pretty slow <laughs> so you need to also have patience all right so give me some more energy about taurus for their love life what is coming towards taurus and love is coming towards Taurus and love. So we have Queen of Wands. Some of you you might also be going through a period of glow up. If you have been considering to get a haircut or probably like do something about your looks, then this is a perfect time to do so because I see that when you will do it, do that, you will feel very very confident. And obviously, when you feel confident within yourself, you radiate it outside, and then people also reflect back to you. So I see that some of you, I see that you will be going through some sort of glow up period in your looks or. like how you look and how you dress and all of that and that's also going to attract a lot of attention some of you also need to like come out of your own mental block and you need to come out of some sort of traumatic event that happened in your love life probably in the recent past and you need to focus on the bright opportunities that are still ahead of you right so i see there's so much to look forward to but for that you need to get out of your own head what is this person's intention towards my taurus the person that's coming towards taurus so we have two of sword with the king of pentacles so i see that somebody was very very confused in the past and this person was like kind of keeping you at the bay and they were not making a decision about you with the two of swords but with the king of pentacles i see the same person is kind of returning back ten of pentacles yeah so how is like a very confused person becoming so sure about you all of a sudden so yeah i see that somebody who was like trying to keep you at the bay and like this person was not making a decision about you some of you this person also thought that you would go and chase them you did not do that so that is when this person is like realizing whatever it is and that's why we also have the card of communication as the key so i see that at the end you are winning and you know there's this very beautiful quote which says the one who laughs last laughs the loudest so this person was probably playing mind games with you and all of that but you just kept holding and you just kept waiting and you were the one who laughed at the last but you were laughing the loudest and i see this person is kind of turning their back and they're coming back at you because they realize that taurus is moving on or taurus has moved on some of you you might have withdrawn yourself from this person because they were playing mind games with you i was going to be the outcome between taurus and this person though some of you this could be a very strong earth or fire sign 
yeah see again the wheel of fortune with the page uh, with the page of pentacles i keep on seeing that this was somebody who was like trying to keep you like they were not prioritizing you this person was like trying to mess around with you and uh, they thought that you would be the one who would be chasing them and stuff but you did not do that taurus and that is what this uh that is what is making this person come back to you some of you also feel like this person stalks you on social media or you are constantly on their mind they also feel very nervous around you because they kind of know that you are aware of their mind games and all of that and you would not play it back so that is also something that makes this person very very nervous and that is what uh, we saw here as well you know which says that an out a win win outcome is forecast so i see that you are winning at the end this person thought that by playing all these mind games or not making a decision about you or keeping you at the bay you will be the one who would who would be chasing them but when you did not do it i see that the wheel is turning and this person is now actually like chasing you so it's actually uh, a situation where the runner is now becoming the chaser all right so i just see that things are changing around for you and that is because you like kind of took this person off the pedestal like how sometimes when we love somebody we try to put this put that person on the pedestal right it and it might be far from the reality that that person might not even deserve it but it's just our own human brain which does that automatically and i see now you're kind of realizing and you're like why the fuck am i putting this person on a pedestal when they did not even show up like one so let me just like take off the pedestal and like show this person their reality and when you do that i see the tables are getting turned all right so you taking up your own uh, power back you owning up for yourself and you just like taking charge of your own happiness that's when this powerful change is going to happen and wheel of fortune is a very powerful change and then we have a powerful change is happening two cards signifying this so i definitely see this manifesting for you what else for my love life uh taurus love life <laughs> what else from my bull gang's love life nine of pentacles i also see that yeah again three of pentacles so i see that when you will be spending time in self love self care when you will be taking care of yourself that's what the nine of pentacles energy is when you will start feeling good in your own company when you will put that love that you had been putting in this person back to yourself that is when the tables are going to turn and that is when this person is going to make a move towards you the the till the time you are in your head about this person and what happened in the past and how they've hurt you and how much you feel hurt and all of that if you keep on dwelling into all those negativities things are not going to turn so taurus if you are one of those tauruses who are looking for this powerful shift and you are looking for this communication and this win win outcome you need to put that love back to yourself and you need to take care of your own damn self all right so that's what i see for you and then this person is going to come back to work with you i see somebody wants to get on the same page but all of this is happening when you take this person off the pedestal that you have been have been putting this person on to all right what is coming towards my single taurus in love single taurus not attached to anybody no strings attached what is coming towards my single taurians in love so we have four of pentacles there could be an earth sign what is about this earth sign very strongly though <laughs> so i see there could be an earth sign or a libra that's coming towards you a uh, single taurus i also see that there is somebody coming towards you but probably some of you you have a legal case going on or probably you have something related to your finances and stability so high on your mind that you might not be very focused in love but there is somebody who's very stable that's coming towards you all right so yeah like somebody is not messing around with you like this person wants you and they are sure about it this person could also be a businessman or a woman or they just have their shit together could also be a lawyer all right yeah king of wands you are attracting attention this person might also be very charming and um, they are like they are like the center of attention you know like whenever this person wherever this person is they become the center of attraction and center of attention so that kind of a person is coming towards you but all of this is happening when you put an end to your past all right when you keep um, when you if you keep on living in the past then things are not going to shift if you want things to shift you have to come out of your past so i see for my single taurians there is something from your past that is bothering you but when you will put an end to it you will shine like a star and things are going to work really beautifully for you i also see something in your career going really really well some of you you will be recognized really well some of you it's something career related or probably a project that you had been working upon so some manifestation shit is going on here and it's all working in your favor and i see that last 5 months or so were very difficult for you emotionally mentally it was very very challenging but when you look towards the opportunity when you focus on the good things in your life they will expand all right so you need to like 
start embracing the blessings of your life instead of what all is going wrong all right now let's see message collective message for my taurus singles and non-singles and whatever collective romance angel card for my taurus for week ahead so we have calling in your soulmate and we have the card of wedding so i see that some of you you are hoping for a commitment a next level commitment something like marriage uh, engagement and all of that and i see there's an insane attraction and chemistry between you and somebody um but this is going to take some time so you need to be a little patient also all right and when you will put this person off the pedestal that's when i see this person is going to come in i also see that this person have been a bit deceptive in the past now either they could be deceptive in a bad way or they could be deceptive in the way that they were wearing a false mask uh, and they were not showing you their emotions because they wanted you to chase them so i see that is also a case here basically you're dealing with a jerk let me be very honest <laughs> somebody who unnecessarily plays mind games and they want you to chase them and all of that this person has a very big ego they have a problem in confessing their feelings and they will not do it until they feel like that's if they will not do it then it's going to be over so until unless they are put in that ultimatum kind of a situation they are not going to make a move so give me a message for taurus please you are my twin flame see i'm telling you there's some twin flame soul mate shit going on very deep attraction between you and someone but they have a very big ego and unnecessary pride you know so we have only you know me inside out you are my twin flame i want to have babies i want to have twins with you so i see that yeah this person is like uh, imagining about family and twins and babies with you but not ready to act right but they will do it but the only condition is that you need to put this person off the pedestal and stop giving them unnecessary attention Taurus put that attention back to you put that self love back to you put that love and attention back to you just go freaking get a haircut watch a series read a book do something that brings joy in your life the more love you put in yourself the more it's going to come from out to you back all right so that was the reading hope this helps you resonate if it does make sure you subscribe like share comment i will see you very soon in the next video till then you guys take care stay safe bye